Well, Dan, your thoughts on uh, the game? Shame it didn't end in a draw, I guess, with that last-minute goal. Um, no, it was a great game. I thought me and the boys did really well. Um, felt really good out there, really um, compact, and you know, I thought we defended really well. And we had a couple of chances, um, but I think with fitness and more games, we um, we score. Spurs came on pretty strong in that second half, but the first half, as you as you mentioned, very compact, very well organised. Nothing really in it. No, really good. Um, we worked a lot on that in the week um, in training with the new gaffer. It's been really good. Um, we felt really good out there, to be fair. Um, in the first half, like you say, I don't think they had many chances and we were really compact together and as a team it was a good, solid performance. And yourself in that sort of 10 role in behind the striker, um, I guess that's uh, some, somewhere where you like to play, isn't it? Yeah, no, um, I love playing in the 10. Um, I've played there a lot in, in my career and it was really good to be out there. Um, you know, I, I do enjoy playing there, but every position for me, I just want to play on the pitch. I um, really enjoyed it. Because the head coach has brought in players to play across the front line as well, hasn't he? Who, who we've yet to see. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. Um, the more better players, the better. You know, the more quality we have in a team, it's good for me, it's good for everyone. Um, with players like John, um, it's going to be really good for us. Do you think you're giving yourself an extra chance when you're bodying people like Sissoko? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what happened. (laughs) I don't know if that would happen again. A bit of luck, no, but um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, they took him off after that. (laughs) um, Mourinho's seen it all, didn't they? (laughs) How has pre-season been? What's the difference been with with the new head coach coming in? Really good. Um, His experience is obviously massive for us and the boys. just especially him being a defender, um, just giving us that extra extra bit of quality in, in defence and as a team defensively, he, he's been really good. Um, it's been tough, um, he's been fr- putting us through the paces, but you know, I felt fit out there, so it's 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 really good to have that that them tough sessions to, to get us through those kind of games. And obviously there have been new signings coming in, which will help sort of wipe away the memory, if you want, of, of, of the games post-lockdown, which, which is going to be important when you, when you start afresh. Yeah, um, that's what we need, you know, but the amazing thing about the Championship is you can finish like the way we did and then next season it's going to be a completely different, different season with the new players, more quality. Um, I'm really excited about the, the season to come. And today, we, you know, we saw George Friend playing at, at centre half, and Andreas Prieto in goal, uh, making his debut. Yeah, George um, has been great since he's come in. He's a real leader. Um, he's really vocal, in, and he's got that bit of quality with his left foot um, to pick me out and pick um, other players out. You know, he's he's been a really good addition. And, and Andreas, you know, he he looked really calm in goal today on the ball, and um, it's they've both been great. And some of the younger lads are also getting a little um, feature as well, aren't they? Yeah, Aidan was quality today, um, playing against top centre-halves, um, against top opposition. It's really good. Um, a lot of young players could have could have crumbled, but he he did really well. Um, so it's really good to see. It just sounds from being around the place as well, there's a lot of positivity about everyone who's looking forward to this new season. Yeah, um, you know, we've forgotten about last season now. Um, we've got a kind of not forget about it remember it and you know remember the feeling and of how hurt we were but move on now it's a new chance a new start and just work our socks off and yeah the first game we just can't wait for it